Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Convert and write an equation with an exponent. Use your meter strip when it helps you. Alright, so A, we have 2 meters, 2 centimeters. So one thing to know is that there are, let's see, 100 centimeters and 1 meter. So that's why we have, so we have two meters. So meters, um, they're bigger than centimeters. So we have big to small, um, we usually multiply. So since we know there's a hundred and, uh, one meter, a hundred centimeter, one meter, then they did two for the two meters times 10 to the power of two. And 10 to the power of two is a hundred. So that's why they wrote 10 to the power of two. So when they multiply two, and 10 to the power of 2 together, they get 200. So 2 meters equals 200 centimeters. All right, and B, we have 108 centimeters to meters. So now we're not going big to small. We're going small to big. So what we do when that happens is we do 108 divided by 10 to the power of 2. That's because when we're smaller units, we're trying to get to the big units, we divide. Instead, and we're dividing by the power of 2, that is because there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So when we do that, so that's divided by 100, basically. We can write that underneath. The decimal point was here, so 1, 2. So you can, that'd be 1.08. So 108 centimeters equals 1.08 meters. All right, and now we have C. 2.49 meters to centimeters. All right, so now we are going big to small, so we're multiplying. We can draw x for multiplying. And this is multiplying two, now it's dividing, so we can draw that. So meters to centimeters. Now we're going big to small, which means we are multiplying. So 2.49 meters to centimeters, so then we multiply by 10 to the power of 2, which is basically 100. So when we do that, then we get 249, which means 2.49 meters equals 249 centimeters. All right, and D, we have 50 centimeters to meters. So now we're going small to big. So that means to find our answer, we're going to divide. So we have 50 centimeters all right, so 50 centimeters divided by 1, 10 to the power of 2. And that will give us 0 0.5. So 50 centimeters equals 0 0.5 or 0 0.58 meters. On E, we have 6.3 meters to centimeters. So we're going big to small. So now we are multiplying. So we have 6.3 meters, let's write that here, 6.3 times 10 to the power of 2, basically 100. So when we do that, we get 1, that's 63, and then 2 would just be the 0. So we move the decimal point 1, 2 times, so this would be a 0 here. So 6.3 meters equals 630 uh, centimeters. Our right, number um, F. 7 centimeters to meters, so centimeters to meters, we're going small and big, so we are dividing. We have 7 centimeters, let's write that here, 7 centimeters divided by 10 to the power of 2. That will give us 1, 2, so this will place, the decimal point will move 2 places to the left, so that will give us 0 0.07. So 7 centimeters equals 0 0.07 meters. And G says, in the space below, list the letters of the problems where small units are converted to larger units. So basically the problem is when we're going small to big. So let's see, centimeters to meters, that's small to big. So, so far we have B. And then this is also centimeters to meters, that's small to big. So basically everything we wrote with the division sign. That's one, two, three, B, D, F. So that's B, D, and F. 
All right, and number two, convert using an equation with an exponent using mu strip when it helps you. All right, so now we're going meters to milliliter, millimeters. So one important thing to know, there are 1,000 milliliter, I mean, did I say millimeter? There's 1,000 millimeter and one meter. So let's see, four meters to millimeters. So we're going big to small. All right, so four meters, that'd be four. So since you're going big to small, we are going to be multiplying. So it'd be four times 10 to the power of three. And why we're doing the power of three is because 1,000 is the same as 10 to the power of three. And since there's 1,000 millimeters, millimeters and one meter instead of 100, so then we're doing 10 to the power of three instead of 10 to the power of two. So let's do our multiplication, four times basically 1,000. Um, that'd be one, two, three, so that equals 4,000. So four meters equals 4,000 millimeters. And B, 1.7 meters to millimeters. We're multiplying again. So we have 1.7. Now let's do 1.7 times 10 to the power of three. So that would give us one. So it was like here, like one, two, three. So that means 1.7 millimeters equals 1,700 millimeters. And see, we have 1,050 millimeters to meters. So we're going small to big, which means we are dividing. So 1,050 divided by 10 to the power of three. So that'd be one, two, three. So that'd be 1.050. So 1,050 millimeters equals 1.050 meters. All right, and D, we have 65 millimeters to meters. So we are dividing again because we're going from small to big. So 65 millimeters, 65 divided by 10 to the power of three, that would give us one, two, and three. So that'd be 0 0.065. So 65 millimeters equals 0 0.065 meters. Or an E, 4.92 meters to milliliters, millimeters. Sorry. So now we're going big to small, which means we're multiplying. So we have 4.92. So 4.92 times 10 to the power of 3, so that gives 1, 2, 3. So that equals 4,920. So it's 4,920 millimeters and 4.92 meters. All right, and F, we have 3 millimeters to meters. So we're dividing, we're going small to big. So 3 millimeters, 3, divide by 10 to the power of 3. So that would give us 1, so that gives us one, two, three. That'd be 0 0.003. So three millimeters equals 0 0.003 meters. And now G says in the space below, list the letters of the problems where larger units are converted to small units. So in this whole section, our larger unit was meters and our small unit was millimeters. So we're looking for problems going from meters to millimeters. Let's see. That'd be A, B, E, and I think that's it. Because the other ones were going small to big, but this time we're going big to small. So yeah. All right, next page. So number three, read out each out loud as you write the equivalent measures. Write an equation with an exponent you might use to convert. All right, so just keep in mind, 10, um, 100 centimeters equals one meter and 1,000 millimeters equals one meter. So we have A, 2.638 meters to millimeters. So we're going big to small, which means we're multiplying. So that's how they, um, there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. So that's why they did 10 to the power of three, which gave them 2,638 millimeters. All right, and now we have seven centimeters to meters. So we're going small to big, which means we are dividing. So 
we have 7 divided by 10 to the power of 2 because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So once we do that, we have, that'd be 0 0.07. So that'd be 0 0.07 meters. And C, 39 millimeters to meters. So we're going small to big, which means we are dividing. So 39 millimeters divided by 10 to the power of 3. So that'd be 1, 2, and 3. That'd be 0 0.039 meters. 0.039 meters. All right, and D, 0 0.08 meters to millimeters. So we're going big to small, which means we're multiplying. So 0 0.08 times 10 to the power of 3. That would give us 1, 2, 3, so that would be 80. So 0 0.08 meters equals 80 millimeters. All right, and E, 0 0.005 meters to centimeters, big to small, so we're multiplying. 0 0.005 times 10 to the power of 2 would give us 0 0.5. So that would be... 0.5 centimeters. All right, and number four, Yi Ting's height is 1.49 meters. Express this measurement in millimeters. Explain your thinking, include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. All right, so 1.49 meters, so 1.49 meters equals blank millimeters. So keep in mind, there is 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So then down here, we can write 1.49 times 10 to the power of 3. Now give us 1, 2, 3. 1,490. So in 1.49 meters, we have 1,490 millimeters. So, um... Right, E Ting's height is 1490 millimeters. And we can explain our thinking if we want, but we pretty much wrote it here too. But we can say, like, since there's 1000 millimeters in a meter, okay, first right there are. 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So, 4, 9 times 10 to the power of 3 would give us the answer. Yeah. Number 5, a ladybug's length measures 2 centimeters. Express this measurement in meters. Explain your thinking. Include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. All right, so we're going from two centimeters to meters. So there's 100 centimeters in a meter. And since we're going from small to big, we're dividing. So two divided by 10 to the power of two. So that'd be one. 1, 2. So that would be 0 0.02 meters. So 2 centimeters equals 0 0.02 meters. Great V. Ladybug is 0 0.02 meters. Meters long. Next one I'm thinking, you can write there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So 2 divided by 10 to the power of 2 would give us the answer. All right, number 6, 
The length of a sticky note measures 77 millimeters. The sticky note measures 77 millimeters. Express its length in meters. Explain your thinking. Include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. All right, so 77 millimeter, millimeters. And we're going from 77 millimeters to meters. So it's 1,000 millimeters in a meter. And we're going from small to big. So therefore, we are dividing. So 77 divided by 10 to the power of 3. And that'd be like 1, 2, 3. 0 0.077 meters. So the length of a sticky note of a sticky note is 0 0.077 meters. So the length and our explanation again there are 1000 millimeters in the meter so 77 divided by 10 to the power of 3 would give us our answer or the answer so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye.